More now on jobs and the positions that are in demand in the new economy, including ones in a high-tech industry that are getting a big boost from a small college in Massachusetts. Mary Thompson has more on where the jobs are. In biotech manufacturing, a technician's job is to grow healthy cells in a clean, strictly regulated environment. A job Shire Pharmaceuticals' Bill Chambrone says can be the hardest for the company to fill. So the ideal candidate for us is someone who has been exposed to some of the hands-on laboratory work, of the manipulation of the equipment, uh, the use of diagnostic um, tools. Those are the type of people that are most in demand. That demand, the reason Quincy College launched a two-year program to train biomanufacturing technicians three years ago. They decided that for the students and the opportunity for students to get jobs, to teach biomanufacturing bio and compliance would be the best fit for the students. The Quincy program is unique because of the hands-on experience students receive working on state-of-the-art equipment like this wave rocker. The wave rocker used by companies like Shire to grow cells that produce enzymes needed for the drugs it makes at its rare disease hub in Lexington, Massachusetts. Students learn to shepherd these cells as they multiply, then extract the needed proteins just as they would in the working world. So what's the employment outlook? The Bureau of Labor Statistics estimates that the outlook for job growth for biomanufacturing technicians is 10 percent from 2012 to 2022. That's 8,000 new jobs. 393 of those jobs are expected to be in the Bay State by 2016. So Quincy College's Bruce Van Dyke worked closely with local firms to design the school's program. If you're not doing what they need you to do, then you're wasting your time. 25-year-old Alex Wilson isn't wasting time. A Quincy graduate hired by Shire last year as a technician, he works four 10-hour shifts a week and overtime when he can get it. My five-year plan would be to be a lead in my department. My 10-year plan would to be switch departments and go into R&D research and development. The Bureau of Labor Statistics says entry-level technicians like Wilson earn about $40,000 a year. Shire declined to say what it pays, only that its pay is competitive and employees receive full benefits, including tuition reimbursement. They're well compensated, especially relative to, say, other recent college graduates or, in many cases, high school or junior college graduates. These are really good jobs for people starting out in the workforce. 27-year-old Daria Kotoski isn't starting out She's kickstarting her career in biotech. It's ever changing. It's huge right now. It's not going away. And neither is she. A top student at Quincy, she's interning now and is setting her sights on a future in neurological research, cultivating an ambition that's been grown in a lab. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Mary Thompson in Quincy, Massachusetts.